Hi, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions Idiots. I'm Corbin. Hajmola, Hajmola. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter on juicy content. It's so juicy. And uh, thank you for our on Patreon and follow us on official Twitter account. And today... And the it's... Oscar goes to... Exactly. Yep. The, well, the, probably the Joker. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's not what we're here to discuss today. No. Nope. Uh, this will be a little different than our normal videos, but uh, similar to if you saw the Joker one where we discussed who would play the Joker. Yeah, who could be the best Joker or, or from the actors we know from India. Very excitingly, yeah. just I believe yesterday it was that uh, India announced that their official selection that they chose, not the Oscars, Oscars does not choose it, India chose to send Gully Boy right. as their official as their entry submission to the Oscars for the best foreign film. Right. Um, which we are very excited about and very, it's like, what are the, there's so many things that have happened in our lives and on this channel where you can say, what are the odds of this happening? Yeah. The first trailer we ever saw, the first film we ever saw in theaters. Of yeah. And ever did a film. review of, um, and the depth of how that connected. I mean, I got a freaking tattoo that says up the time I got. So yes, we are very excited <laughs> for it. Yeah. Uh, and so we're not going to do another review of it, obviously, but we're going to discuss it's chances of actually one getting the nomination and getting an Oscar. An Oscar. Um, and because we, the moment this happened, I know you got it both oh yeah. on Twitter and our OSR thing. Just hundreds, hundreds of messages about what do you think about this as the submission? And I've seen everything from yeah. how cool and awesome is this to why did they choose this? Yes. <laughs> so that's why. We're touching on the controversy. Yes, and so we're going to discuss that and uh, why uh, one, if we like it or if we think it's a brilliant idea, which I will discuss later in the program. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there's multiple. So get ready. There's multiple reasons. Um, but so the other films, because this is the, I put actually up a poll on uh, YouTube last night because uh, I wanted to see what people thought about it. I said, okay, so. Okay. So basically, here are the films that were being considered by yeah by India. Well, here I for submission. I put the films that I've heard most people say they wanted to be submitted. Okay. Do we have an actual? Yes, list? I do. I'll okay. show you. Okay. But uh, we are. Uh, I said, what do you? Who do you think should have been the selection of um, for the twenty twenty for the twenty twenty Oscar? I said, Gully Boy, Uri, Uri Anda Handa Han, Super Dogs, or Tombad. Uri. Blew it out of the water. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that it's very patriotic and it's it's sure. it's the core of sure. a lot of Indians, of course. And I 100% agree. Uri is a fantastic film. You know we love that film. Yeah, if it had been selected, I would, I would have not been unhappy. No, absolutely. I don't think. Obviously, we haven't seen Tombad or, uh, or Super, Super Deluxe. Deluxe. But I would have actually been happy with all three of those. Uh, there's a reason I think actually Gully Boy is probably the best, especially for being selected. I feel the same way of those uh, options. Yeah. That for me, and again, it's hard sometimes to differentiate the personal depth of the impact of that, but if I put on just my critical hat away objectively, mm -hmm. of those options, I too would have selected but Gully Boy. But here are the ones that were... Uh, They're actual... So these are the ones that... Uh, the Film Federation of India, so the FFI, are yeah. the ones... The, at the Film Federation of India, you probably all know this, they're the ones who select, they have got these options and they decide this is the one we want to send to the Academy to represent India in the foreign film category. Yes. And so Gully Boy is their selection. These the are the choices they have. the main ones. That... Right. Uh, were Badai Ho, Andahan Dahan, Article 15. Which would have been an interesting choice. Would have been a very interesting choice. Uri, Badla, mm. Kasari, ooh, and the Tashkent Files, yeah, I heard and that. some others. Yeah, and there, there was a, I and mean, because they have a ton of other things. It says this apart regional language movies, so they did include regional language movies mm -hmm. to represent India. Yeah. Okay. They, Any well, that we know? No, no, not that we saw or um, Dear Comrade. A lot of people really uh, enjoyed. Okay. That was a consideration. Uh, in so, so you know, if you haven't seen this list, to give you the regions, they do them obviously with language and they've got pretty much everybody covered in some way shape or form yes. that they looked at they've got marathi telugu uh Gujarati, kanad yeah. bengali but they picked um, uh they, tamil obviously they picked gully boy but i wanted to discuss what the the other options that i put in the poll because there were what how many fifty six thousand votes which is crazy yeah 
Yeah. 50, 60,000 people, mostly 40%, 40% said Uri. And I believe, once again, it's and fantastic, but I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that it's so, it hits the core of Indians. Right. Uh, and it's a great... And it's film. a relevant story right yes. now. Uh, so that was actually my first... Um, Interestingly, Andahandahan got a higher score than Gully Boy in your poll. Yeah, well, a lot of that has to do with the fact that Gully Boy was selected, and so people often want to go against, against the grain. Right. But also, people love that film and how uh, the twists and turns, so they wanted originality, which is something we can talk about with the Oscars right. and their selection process. Yes. Um, but the other options, Andahandahan, uh, Super Deluxe, obviously we haven't seen, but people who were really passionate about these two, mm -hmm. Tomb Bad and Super Deluxe. Yeah, the personal messages that I got, which by the way, thank you for your messages, a lot of the messages I just go in and see and don't reply to, uh, because it's just, it's impossible to keep up with my messages on Instagram, it's just, I, I can't do it anymore. A lot of, I got a lot of people in my messages saying, it should have been Super Deluxe. Yeah. Uh, and so obviously we haven't seen it, so we can't speak specifically to that. Right. But from what we saw in the trailer, I think Super Deluxe would have been too complicated for Americans to understand. I think. I don't I, I haven't seen it, so I can't say. Right, we don't know. But I'm sure it's amazing and we will watch it. Right. So don't worry. Right. Tomb Bad, I know you don't say it is, but it's a horror. Those do not, unless they are transcendent of the genre, like a get out. They do not get nominated for Oscars. I know you yeah. say it's not a horror, right? But it but looks it, like a horror. It would fall based on what we know about it because we haven't seen it. In fact, we've talked about probably and watching we it. We'll watch it. We we're probably going to watch it in October. No promises because that's Halloween season and scary movies are popular. In the history of the Motion Picture Academy, only one film has ever won the Oscar for Best Picture that was horror, and that was The Silence of the Lambs. It won Best Director, Best Actor, Best Actress, and Best Film. The first and only film in the genre of horror to ever get an Oscar. I think you can count on one hand. Well, I think it's Exorcist, Signs of the Lambs, and then Get Out. Get Out. Are the three that got nominated. That had a nomination. And that's in the main category, not foreign film. Correct. So that's why the I, odds of you getting a nom on a foreign film, horror film, yeah. is not gonna happen. Once again, we know you say it's not a horror film. We will the watch The Academy it. would see it that way. They would see it that way. Also, in foreign category, they don't treat it the same as Best Picture, which is one of the issues I had a, a, right away with Gully Boy. Mm -hmm. Is because a lot of people, the way we have a lot of problems with the Academy, as a lot of people do. As a lot of people do. We, they get it right a lot of the time and they just freaking blow it. And a also lot of their the time. process as well. Yes. Of course, they got in trouble a while back for being, what, 90% white men. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, and they're trying and to their credit, to their credit, they make to, drastic changes quick. But anyway. But still. Uh, but most of the time, they don't actually have to watch these films to vote on them, which is really, really sad. It <laughs> makes us both really angry. Uh, but foreign film is one of the ones that often gets pushed on the wayside. Yeah. So normally, for foreign film, you need one of those things, I believe, uh, it was the last year, the year before that, that one with the transgender girl from uh, Brazil. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Fantastic I film. Saw it. Loved it. Um, but you need something like that that's political and almost cultural, so they, like, everybody... That's the hype around it. For those, yeah, for example, Academy members won't watch what they should be voting on. Therefore, they will select the film that they've heard the most about. Yes. So, going into Gully Boy. This is why I think, obviously we love the, the direction, we love the acting, we love the music. And so it's an all-around fantastic it's film. It's a great movie, yeah. Um, and it, it has worked in the past, obviously. Eight Miles, a similar story. It's not, I think, it's not the exact same story, obviously. At all, yeah. Uh, some people were upset because they think that it, it only nominated because it was in the slums again. Uh, for No. It's, it's very it's different not. than Slumdog Millionaire. So oh, I don't think, very I don't think that's, that's the vibe you get from this film. Not at all. Um, but here's the reason I think this is actually a brilliant choice. I'm glad to hear you say that. For the Oscars. Yeah, because I'm with One, you. One, because... Here's the main reason, actually. Um, the Oscars are not above political and uh, or, or, or reasons to um, <laughs> voting, uh, picking something specifically for a to help their views. Wait a minute. Are you saying the Academy might make choices not based on artistic merit, but based on the fact that there's an agenda they want pushed? Yes, you're one hundred percent right. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, not, we, you know we love Gully Boy and we're rooting for it hard and we think it's an amazing film. Yes. But here's why. 
it should be the uh, a selection. The Oscars have struggled with viewership for, for years. years now. To pick a film that has the two biggest stars, well, two of Are the biggest ugly. stars in India. Correct. To be at the Oscars. Correct. You would get those views just by picking it. Yes. And, to the nomination. And Academy members and people at the Academy and the guy, whoever's producing the Oscars now, it used to be Gilbert Cates, who's, who's not here anymore. If you guys don't have Run Beer and Alia at the Oscars, you're morons. Yeah. You are... You're absolute idiots. If one you put them to in see the what Red Beer's gonna wear for one. 100%. one that's gonna be amazing. <laughs> He's gonna be talked about on the red carpet, and that will immediately catapult also, into American consciousness. Ho Hollywood should want, and this is one of the selfish reasons why I wanted to be the nomination. I want people to see Alia. Yes. And I want people to see Ranveer. Yes. And I want Kalki. And I want people yes. to see the director. Yes. Uh, I selfishly really want them to be seen. This is a golden opportunity <laughs> for the people that we have seen and have come to love. So I think it was a conscious decision. Shoved by, into the consciousness of America. By India. Yes. To pick their biggest yes. stars. 100%. And be like, this, because they've struggled obviously not with the content. Because they've obviously put out good content. Right. They've struggled with getting a seat at the table. Exactly. At the Oscars. Exactly. So this is I their think shot. This is their uh, shot at just getting a nomination. And I gotta say, Ollie is probably thrilled because I know she has aspirations to be successful in Hollywood. This is an absolute beautiful open door possibility. Her people. Her management, her publicist, and everybody yeah, pushing hard. You all better be working twenty four seven over yeah. the next six and, months. And for that girl and, here in America, yes. And the uh, the Oscar process. Another huge problem is that the fact that you have to campaign a it, lot, a lot. It's sad. It's terrible. We have a lot of problems with the Oscars, but that's a fact that you have to do. You have to campaign for your who film. Is the, who wants it? Like who would you rather have campaign for you than Alia and, and Ranveer? Come on. Come on, it's seriously. It's a fantastic choice. It's one, a, a brilliant film. We're not saying it's like, like, you know, legend film, like, you know, how people think of Mother India, or, you know, we know it's not like the or even in turn. Or let's just say if it was any given movie at any given year, it's header. Yeah, that's the artistic film that's at the top of the top where you go, this should win Best Picture, forget foreign film. Yeah. But what you have to consider is, um, sadly, mm -hmm. you have to take into consideration all of these other factors because we've yet to really talk about the artistic merits because I do feel, oh, yeah. while it is, there are probably other films out this year that would hit the artistic level of Oscar caliber worthiness, this is not a selection where I look at it and go, oh, this was just politics. This has artistic oh, it merit does. to it, worthy of an Oscar nom. 100%. There's acting, there's music, there's directing. It's all amazing. Even the, remember when we watched yeah. the behind the scenes and we realized how, how detailed the, the production design was? Mm -hmm. That the entire production design of this thing, it was intentional for, uh, what's, her, what's her name? Zoya, um, uh, the director of, of Gully Boy. I I've got to have her name on, the, on my, uh, uh, yeah, right. Zoya. <laughs> I got it. Uh, that Zoya... Uh, she, it was important for her for everybody in production that's the art department costuming lighting everybody she didn't want any hues of blue that's awesome the entirety of that film you don't get any blue which by the way that's probably the most wonderful color on camera is blue it's a good color but she did it for an artistic reason and the artistic relevance as well as there's another thing about this movie which is what resonated with us when we saw the trailer mm-hmm Gully Boy was our first Bollywood India trailer we've ever seen in our life. That's true. And the first film we ever saw in a movie theater. And I will tell you, I remember our reaction both to the trailer and to the film. Mm -hmm. As Americans who know nothing about India, and this is going to be Digest. a lot of people's experience here who watch the Academy Awards. They will never have heard of Renvir and Alia. They will not know about this film. But the fact that this is such a universally relevant story connected to a genre of art, the hip hop world, mm -hmm. that so many in this country can relate to, yep. this movie has the capacity to be an international sensation, the likes of which Americans would gravitate toward it the way we did and recognize this isn't just some Indian film. No. 
this is a great film with a personal story that we can relate to. This film, if it was an American-made film, would have been nominated for Best Picture. It would have been. Just because you don't need to be political to get nominated for Best Picture. Because in La La Land, you got The Shape right. of Water. You right. got, you know, there's a bunch of films that are just fantastically made films that 100%. aren't political. And that's a good comparison. Using, for example, La La Land and Shape of Water, two films that were nominated for Best Picture and for me were the ones I wanted to win Best Picture. Mm -hmm. Uh, Shape of Water on an artistic level oh. was about as good as you can get with oh, making yeah. film because Guillermo is an absolute master of cinema. Yes. Uh, La La Land, though for me it was best picture quality, I would not put it in the Shape of Water. No, no, definitely right? not. But definitely it's still not. a best picture. Gully Boy Falls for me in that same category of a La La Land. Yeah. This original piece of work with original music that was created for it that is 100% believable, that tells you a story that everybody on the planet can relate to the way that people could relate to the story of Rocky. You've got this underdog that nobody expects, including himself, to do anything great with. And it is, for us, the very reason our eyes were open to everything else in India. And you have the two... I'm, obviously, we know we said Ranveer was fine when we saw it because we didn't understand. Idiots. But, yeah, who we are. Uh, but you have Alia's powerhouse performance yep. in this. Remember, we, we said this girl's a revelation. The, the, p any Americans who see this oh, yeah. are going to go, who's that girl? We need her in film. Who's that girl? Yeah. So and then when they see Ranveer show up on the red carpet, oh. and they're like, who's this freaking male Lady Gaga, man? Who is this guy? Yeah. It's Come on, it's guys. Fantastic. Come on. Also, this is when you have to think about um I know because a lot of people want Tom Bad. They want they want on the Han. They want they, they, they want, want regional. They, no, yeah. They want like but a Newton. They want these um films that are very unique and uh very original and these creative ideas. But you you're thinking as an Indian and you've seen other Indian films. Well, you have to think as an American who most of the time are quite stupid and have never seen an Indian film. So you need a digestive, like we talk about almost all the time with any review we do. Yeah. Would we introduce this to an American right away? Right away. This, this. I would put this before, I mean, pretty much everything. Well, this or Uri. Yeah. But I think this has more artistic merit than Uri. Yeah, I, this this is by far, anybody I introduce to Indian cinema, I say, you should start where we did. You should start with Gully Boy, because what this will do for you as an American viewer who, first of all, has a particular mindset about the runtime of a film, that's one. Mm -hmm. Number two, has a particular idea in mind. Guys, I'll talk about this a lot in the future reviews, but as I'm learning more about Indian cinema, and I'm learning more about uh, Satyajit Ray, and I'm learning more about the aesthetic of the way India approaches storytelling, yeah. right? Like when we watched um, the last one with SRK, the, the cricket film. Oh, uh, the Chuck uh, India. Ch right, Chuck India. People kept saying, it's, this isn't a movie, it's an emotion. Yeah. I didn't know what that meant until I started reading Satyajit Ray's book. American audiences are westernized guys, and this is what I mean by that. Their ability to comprehend a motion picture is gonna be built on Socrates and that understanding of catharsis, the creation of character, and plot being the most important thing in a story. We've got to see a climax, a conflict, a climax, a resolution, and character arcs in a span of 90 to 120 minutes. That's the American mindset. When you give them something other than that, where in India, especially some regional films where you're not necessarily going to approach it from a Western Socrates mindset of storytelling, Greek, it's going to be Eastern. There's going to be films that they would see that have no arc for the character because the character needs to stay as they are. They're the rock for the whole. So for a Western mind, it'd be, I saw no growth in that character. And for an Eastern mindset, it would be, you're not supposed to. You're supposed to see what's going on around them. It's the difference between Western film is storytelling. Eastern is storytelling, but has a lot of films that are just poetry. Mm. And for people here who don't know what poetry even is, you're not going to get a film that would be more of the artistic kind who love film as a part of the Academy to look at. It's got to be something that they're... Once, once they're introduced to it, like us, I believe once a film like The Gully Boy mm -hmm. gets attention, 
you could then start to introduce the more artistic films because they would have then begin to understand where you're coming from. Does yeah. that make, oh, make yeah. sense? Yeah, yeah. They'll see they'll see uh, Ali and they'll be like, oh, what else has you she got, done? They'll just yeah. see the highway. They'll see all of our stuff. Ranfier, they'll be like, oh, they'll watch Padmavat and Pastrami Mastanani. Exactly. And then they'll start to go look at the cinematography. Yeah, and, and then they'll get deeper look and at deeper. The, yeah, then they so could watch a header. This is why I think this is a brilliant Then they could watch a Dev Das. For, <laughs> for the Oscars to submit. Really? No, it's not the nomination yet but I think it has a good chance I think it has be a great one, chance because of all the things you just talked about also because Oscars want those views yes and, and, and let's point this out I hate saying it we gotta say it but it's a woman who directed it it's true so the Oscars are gonna pay attention to that guys the the, 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 the the Federation in India I guarantee they looked at that and thought we've got a better shot at submitting something that has a woman at the helm Yep. Because women are underrepresented here, and it's talked about this all a, the time. This has a female director, a strong, strong female, female lead, lead, lead yes. in the film. Uh, and so this has a lot of the elements that you would need. We know Great that there's music. others that might be more original, but that's not... You want. You need a seat at the table first. Yes. Uh, and then we can uh, discuss... Like if, if every single year India starts putting... Not that they don't put out films that are quality and could be nominated for the Oscars. We know that's... They do that every single year, but we're trying to get Americans to realize. Yeah, that. you've got you've got in this film you have a very rare thing indeed in that you've got a film that makes sense politically for the Oscars, mm -hmm. but also has enough clout artistically mm -hmm. for the diehards who want to see something of meritorious artistic ele elevation. Mm -hmm. um, that I I think everybody in India needs to be jumping up and down right now. Yeah. And I, I would be very excited, and we're going to be rooting hard for oh it. Oh my! Like God. if Gully Boy, if you want to come on the channel, if you want to, uh, we will help promote this. Anything and everything we can do, <laughs> like, uh, we will 100 uh, do this. We know where the red carpet is. We can be down there. Uh, <laughs> in fact, we should probably find out how we can get a spot interviewing some folks because I would love to get Ranveer and Alia and just do like an interview on the red carpet. You know how them? hard in India would be to get an interview with Ranveer or Alia. I know, but and how easy it would be here. Easy because they're going to go walking by, and everybody's going to be like, "Who's up?" Yeah, they put, might not even get pictures. Yeah. Who's that? <laughs> well, actually, India sent me in, in, in the, uh, uh Let me tell you, who, yeah. whoever, we don't know all these details, we don't need to look them up, but I'm here to tell you, whoever is representing Ranveer, both management, agent, publicist, everybody, same thing with Alia, the production company behind Gully Boy, and whoever reps Zoya, every single one of you needs to be all in, 100%, on board, do what you need to do, get here, do the... Uh, the pitching, do everything you need to do to make this happen because you guys have a very, very good shot with this film. Now, granted, we're going to watch the other films. Yes. Uh, and another thing the Academy will take into consideration when they're choosing, especially those who don't watch the films, they'll see how long has it been since that country's won? Has that country ever won? Okay. Well, I haven't seen the films. Let's do that one because they probably deserve a win. It's been 40 years crap like that happens they actually don't watch the films <laughs> and say that's the one i think is better but this has a great shot yeah so yeah great, let us know what you think shot. about it in the comment section below not what you think is the best film but if you actually think this has a chance to one get nominated and then win because once it gets nominated and hopefully it will oh, we I'm can discuss its chances my mind. Uh, 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 against the other competition of actually winning. But to get a seat at the table would just be so freaking excited to see Renvier and Alia at the Oscars. So, and when you know, when the, when the nominations come out, we're the ones, because here in the States, it happens at five in the morning. Oh, yeah. uh, we'll and be watching. so we always watch. We're always up when the nominations come and we're messaging each other and freaking out and screaming and yelling because the things we got nominated got nominated. And then we talk about who's the one who got uh, completely... Yeah. What's the word they use? Um, uh, you know, left out. Yeah, whatever. Left, left out, out, whatever it is. Uh, if they, if we see Gully Boy on that screen, oh, we will be so excited. We will lose our freaking minds. <laughs> well, let us know what you thought about that in the comment section below. Will you, uh, will you cry? No. <laughs>